time has gotten much shorter, so that I've uh, you know I look at things very quickly, um, and that's probably the bad way. It's it's shortened my attention span. Sometimes when I'm at work, I'm jumping around between lots of different different things, and I um, I really miss the sort of concentrated time. So I. There are periods where I have to just shut down all my communications, emails, and just try to take that time. What else I use it for? Just, oh, for restaurant hopping, use Yelp a lot, um, and location GPS. If you get lost, it's right there. I get to use it, or whatever it is I need at that moment, I can look it up, and I'll get some information that way. So my fiance just recently got accepted to medical school and had to move to the Las Vegas area. And it wasn't the first time that we had to deal with distance, but in this particular case, um, to kind of, instead of just the regular phone call or how are you doing, we use Google Plus, uh, our Google Hangouts, or we'll use Skype and we'll watch movies. Uh, we'll have like a date night. We'll set a date night Friday night, Saturday night, and use Netflix or Hulu and watch a movie in, in conjunction with being able to see each other on the computer and talk. and and do those things. So it, it makes the distance much, much closer. And it also lets me share my daughter's artwork. She's been drawing since she was five? Four. Four. And people see it that wouldn't be able to see it before because you can't go and show it in person to everyone. But you post it on Facebook and her dance teacher liked it or te our friends at school liked it and then it's fun to watch the likes kind of go up. <laughs> I've been recording um, YouTube videos since 2007, so my, rea um, my connection with my viewers has been amazing. I mean, the same followers would follow me on Instagram and Twitter, so they kind of just follow me throughout the years, and they've gotten to know me as a person. It makes me feel really awesome because, you know, sometimes I would go somewhere, and then someone would message me or come up to me and be like, hey, are you that girl from YouTube? And I'd be like, oh, yeah, and then, you know, I'd be able to meet them in person. And you know, there's kind of a there's kind of an interesting downside to having information at the tip of your hand. We used to at dinner parties have have these long arguments about things because nobody really knew the answer. <laughs> and uh, you know, now somebody just pulls out their phone and it's like, oh, I know the answer. And, oh, end of discussion. You can't really argue <laughs> anymore. <laughs> and that was kind of fun having those debates. The people overshare, <laughs> you know, it's some, you know, you're supposed to keep some stuff back. And uh, I just, you know, I just don't overshare. It's interesting because my kids overshare sometimes and it's, it's an insight for me to see what it is they're looking into and seeing, but it's also give me a chance to, you know, know what they're doing and put them in check, you know, when I have to. So in that case, I like the oversharing on their part. <laughs> Um, it has, on the bad side, made me, I admit, kind of lazy in a sort. I say in history class because that was, you know, one of my harder classes in school. Um, teacher assigned, you know, each student with a specific task. Uh, instead of going ahead through a history book, I did go online and search for answers on there instead of honestly searching through the book as we were supposed to. I'm sure this happened to, you know, many of us and we, you know, text or emailed something that we wish we thought about before we did it, you know, and so I think that, you know, bound to have more of that, obviously, as we, but so specifically, I think that's what, yeah, I think it has, I think, I think in most cases, I felt like it probably wasn't helpful, you know, it probably was not helpful, it probably would have been went better to have, you know, is there an app that allows you to put a five minute pause in between each text, you know, <laughs> mandatory five minute pause, might be a good idea. So, yeah. Well, I'm... I'm of course an advocate of technology. I hope it's going to be, uh, going to, of course, going to move further. But I think the people have also to learn how to behave with technology. It's not technology is a problem. It's our behaviors. If it ever abruptly disappeared, I think I'd be lost. <laughs> I don't think I'd be the only one.